what's up everybody welcome back to another video it is tommy back here yet again and we're talking about a different trovo bot today which i don't like the feeling of doing you know <laughs> i've been a big supporter of blaze bot since the beginning and i love it and to this day i'll probably keep on using it but there's a new bot out and i felt that you know it's about time I covered it because you don't need to download anything. You don't need to have it running in a PowerShell in the background. You don't need to make a separate account to run your bot. A whole lot of stuff. So let's go take a look into bot rigs. Let's go. Yeah, so just a f first little shout out there. So again, my Trovo link is always down below as well. If you want to hit me up, you can go follow me there. We can have a little chat about this type of stuff. I love talking about this type of stuff on stream. And as well, you can head to designpogs.com to get your own Trovo custom made overlays. You can fill out a form to, and it will be fulfilled exactly by me. And we can get your perfect overlay sorted for you. But let's anyway start talking about Botterix. And here is basically what it looks like. I'll have the links down below exactly what you gotta do but basically there's a google form that you gotta uh, fill out it's in spanish you need to translate it over into english it basically just asks you for your channel name your email and where you heard of it if you want to throw down my name in that i'd appreciate that so much and um, and then you have to wait 24 hours and then within after 24 hours uh, you can head over to the next link that i'll have listed below as well and then you can sign into your Trovo. I reached out in the Trovo Discord asking, was this safe to log into and to enter your password into? Because I didn't want to just fill in my Trovo login info on some dodgy website that I didn't know. And one of the moderators there, Krami, uh, you probably recognize his name if you've done anything with the Blaze Bond stuff like that. His name actually auto-filled some of the labels. Um, he has let me know that... Uh, Botrix is 100% legit and the API that they're using is 100% compliant and there's no data leaks or they can't, Botrix themselves can't see any of the information, which is perfect. Once you finish all that stuff, you get landed on a page here. And basically how this works is stream elements, but for Trovo. And if you even look, like they actually did a really good job at making it look like Trovo which I, I really do like, it really shows you that this is made for Trovo, you know? So instead of, as you probably remember from my last tutorial, that if you wanted to do alerts inside of OBS for Trovo, you had to make all different scenes and you had to make them unhidden. It had to be called a certain thing and then they popped up and stuff like that. This is actually a lot easier. This is works the exact same way that the likes of stream elements and um streamlabs work you can choose what type of layout that you want you can upload your own image and you can upload your own sub how loud the colors everything like that and then you can even put your own little text on it and then you can even preview so if i press the preview button here and just let's bring this over here now if we want to test the subscribe it just does this sometimes it will have a little bit of trouble loading let's try it again let's have a bit of faith there we go yeah, thanks for the data data builds, yeah. See? So that's basically how it will show up. You can upload your own sounds there and everything like that, volume. Everything like that. And you can do the exact same for follows, for raids. Sorry, you can press it all down here. So go between all the different ones. Pretty nice, you know? There's even stuff so that like it will show the image of what spell they use. So if someone um, gave me a chicken, you'll get the chicken and stuff like that, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Um, but there, there is a lot more to Bodrix than just the alerts though and this is this is where I think it's actually doing really really cool so you got a spectator account here that you can just again how this works is that inside your OBS you just create a browser source paste the link in and that's it you know so that's all you have to do so you just copy them over you know if you've ever used anything before like you know you should have a fair understanding on how to do this but they just got some pretty cool tools in here, you know? So again, they have the view counter here. You can customize it however you want. If we go back, they got a uh, goal, uh, follow goals. They got subscriber goals. They got mana goals. They got elixir goals. They have the labels. 
so if you want you know let me even just switch over to my intermission here for a minute as you can see here so latest it's flipped. latest follower and latest sub so that's basically what you can do here you can just copy this url here and then paste it in and there you go and you can even see i have my own little follower girl up there as well there is more stuff coming soon too so we have the chat coming soon i'm kind of curious what that's going to look like as you can see i kind of hacked together my own on my intermission screen there i slowed it back up just there below me so yeah it does the bot rix does these little test things as well that when you're doing the test so you can clear your chat after that they're also doing giveaways soon which i think will be very interesting i'm gonna be very curious on what they do with that Moving on, there is a chat bot as well too, so you can do a, a capital protection, which I think is pretty good. A link protection, which will automatically delete them at the minute. Trovo just doesn't make them clickable. At least this way, if someone posts it, Barrox will be like, nah, frick you, bro. And then emoticon protection as well. One of my mods loves to fucking spam the shit out of the hype. This will stop him from doing that. <laughs> you can add commands in as well so let's say if you want to like command um i don't know discord rank yeah users so users can do it and there you go so now if someone types exclamation mark discord in my chat this message will pop up and let's even test it right now you got to make sure your bot is set to the mod but now if we do exclamation mark discord we should get bot to be a good little boy that's even oh there we go look at that join my discord here it just took that's fine though completely fine so you can do nice little stuff like that you can also do some timers as well and um, only reason i don't have these set up yet is because all of mine are still inside of my um blaze bot i i still plan on using blaze bot we can get into that in a second and um, there's other additional features as well so i don't understand what they actually do i will not lie to you there's a the networking thing use the social networks configured in your trovo channel so that's like when you have like the links for like your twitter and your instagram and stuff like that i don't know what this would actually do i guess someone maybe can correct me in the comments if they know what it does and then send a message in the chat every time there is an interaction such as a welcome or a follow so basically what trovo already automatically does and you, know, like you can say you can have a pop-up someone follows or someone joins or something like that you can also have um Barrix saying the exact same stuff. So another thing they also have here as well is a Discord thing as well. So Barrix can send a message to your Discord with the title of a broadcast every time you start direct. Translation isn't very great. But basically what this is meant to do is that you can create a webhook on your Discord server to which basically is like a local bot. You can post the URL in here, send everyone and save. I have it set up i've removed the link at the minute for obvious reasons and um it's just it's not working <laughs> i currently use and pay for couchbot to do this it's they're great guys over there if anyone's interested in a go live um bot for their discord server for their trovo streams make sure you head up hit up the couch bot and make sure you let matt know that i sent you but if not if you want to try something like this let me know how it goes for you maybe i'm doing something wrong i have set up web hooks before though so that's what i'm not fully grasping and of course all of these are in spanish but there is nothing that i haven't done it's pretty much what you do you see you go into your discord server you create the webhook you call it whatever you tell it what channel you want it to go to you copy the link you paste it in here and it should just work it's not working for me but then again it did say that it's in beta so hit or miss you know they also have a section here as well if you do want to donate to the plan as you can see here it is just being made just by one person they're, they're not getting any payments from that they have no affiliation with trovo at all and I really do do think that it is a, a cool and very interesting bot, you know. But let me address the big elephant in the room. And that is Blaze Bot. We now have competition. There is now... A, the bar has been raised in a sense that... We've been waiting for Blaze Bot to get this online companion tool. Like Botrix has right now. And we still don't have it. And with a lot of people having issues and not understanding how to CD into a directory. Something to us computer nerds is something is so easy to do. 
But if you're someone who's never opened up a PowerShell before, you're going to probably have a little bit of a hard time, you know? So having something so easy as this, you just enter in your sentence and you paste over a link is just incredibly easy. And Blaze, I love you and I love the support that you do. And I just love every single thing about BlazeBot. And I will continue to keep using BlazeBot. But I think now is the time to whatever state that that online tool is in, I think it needs to be pushed because otherwise I'm scared that Botrix is going to take over. And I really don't want that to happen. You know, I love you guys. I love every single thing you do. But at the minute, there is now a new competitor and they have raised the bar by a, a good, good bit. This thing, the only issue that this has given me is that the Discord um, bot isn't working. And that was just like an extra little goodie. That wasn't even something that like, oh, this is necessary. You know, that's just an extra little goodie that I don't even mind. But the fact that they have the alerts that you can just upload your picture and sound to, the way that you don't need to configure every single little aspect of it, it's easy, you know? And I love the customization and everything like that to do with BlazeBot. I love tinkering with it. I love messing with it. I love having multi-chain events going off, using it with my touch portal tablet here and everything. I've so many little things configured with this to make my streams a little more interesting but botrix is easier and it's going to appeal to a lot more people and i feel that blaze uh, could do a whole lot better right now in terms of usability and functionality and i think it's it's really time to pump this into high gear you know i will always keep supporting blaze but i love you guys i do your artwork you share my videos we have a really, really good, you know, little, little thing going, you know, but looking at Botrix and just seeing how good it is, it makes me feel that once BlazeBot comes out in this type of functionality will also be truly, truly amazing. That's my little rant over for that. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit like, subscribe and all that good stuff. I'm going to have all the links for Botrix down below, but I'm also going to have the links to all of my Trovo and um, BlazeBot videos there as well in case you do want something a bit more you know a little, little bit more fun to tinker with and more customization in that sense my Trovo link is down below if you ever want to hit me up on stream ask me any questions you want or anything like that I'm always game design pogs as well if you want a Trovo based stream overlay head over to designpogs.com and we can hook you up with that 100% Thanks very much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.